Hi, this is Richard with MyWheelAdapters.com. Wanted to make this video to try to give you just a few general pointers you need to look at when you go to buy wheel adapters or bolt on wheel spacers. You need to consider the type, the wheel center bore, one of the studs, the lug nuts, the thickness, and um, you know, these are the things that we're going to cover today. To start with, let's talk about type. Okay, this is a uh, standard one-piece lug-centric adapter. And this is the most common thing you see on eBay, the thing that I sell the most of, the, the uh, least expensive option that most people go for. You know, you're about a $120, $119 for a set of four of these um, delivered to you in the U.S. Now this has a center bore that is big enough for the vehicles that has this bolt pattern. Um, with rare exception, there's a few uh, there's a few of the truck things that we have to be careful with. This is your general option that most everybody gets with wheel adapters. Okay. The best way to go, if you want to know, well, what's the best way? This is an example of the best way. This is a hub centric. It's actually a hub and wheel centric wheel adapter. This is custom built so that the the hole or the the hole in the back here the fits the hub of the car sticking out. And on the front side this hub fits the center bore of the wheel. And of course you'd be your five five lug vehicle to a five lug wheel and this could be the same or different bolt pattern. You know, this particular one changes the bolt pattern from a 5x120 on the vehicle to a 5x112 on the wheel. So that would be, and your vehicle always comes first when you're talking about the adapter size. So this would be a 5x120 to 5x112 hub centric and wheel centric adapter one inch thick that's the the best way to go if you need to change the number of lug nuts you'll often take a two piece adapter like this is to change from a five lug wheel or a five lug vehicle to a six lug wheel Okay, uh, so it's a two-piece adapter. You've got the first piece that bolts onto the car, and then the second piece bolts onto there. Got to make sure these two pieces fit flat together, that nothing from the car, the lug nut, or the stud hits the second piece of this adapter. These again are lug-centric, meaning they do not have a lip sticking out on the wheel side, so the lug nut centers everything up has to have a wheel that takes a conical seat lug nut not a flat bottom lug nut like some of the Fords but on the wheel side has to have a conical seat and that's a two piece two inch thick five to six lug wheel adapter now like I said with the the hub centric adapter you just got the this hub, part sticking out here and the hub size on the adapter is custom made to your specifications. This hub bore is big enough. You know, like this bolt pattern is a five by four and a half, so this hole will be big enough for whatever five by four and a half vehicle hubs are out there and it'll be bigger than some, but it centers up with the taper of the lug nut and the taper down here. So it doesn't have to fit the center hub of the vehicle since it doesn't even have a hub for the wheel anyway. Okay, so that's the hub part. Next thing you need to consider is 
your bolt patterns okay uh, especially with five lug pattern a thing to note they do not measure they, they they measure from this stud to this stud but it is not center to center you understand when you measure this bolt pattern if I measured this one right here center to center I'm gonna get four and a quarter inches so that makes this a five on four and a half inch bolt pattern if you measure center to center you're gonna be wrong you have to add a quarter inch it's because it's not straight across the middle of a circle here so anyway make sure you got the right measurements you, we can tell you your vehicle if you get the right measurement for your wheel and you and, and you verify that your vehicle is right then the adapter should work out for you you know if you order the wrong ones you're going to end up paying extra shipping and stuff to send them back to me and get you more than one just make sure you get the right ones the first time okay so your bolt pattern I got a 5x4.5 on the vehicle to a 5x4.75 on the wheel in this particular one inch and a quarter thick you know yours may be a different combination now I'm going to talk about lug nuts okay these lug nuts on this adapter, my adapter, the listing will tell you what size the studs are. This particular stud is a 12 millimeter by 1.5. Okay, um, so you these lug nuts that come with this adapter, if your vehicle has the same size stud sticking out on it, you can use these lug nuts to attach this this adapter to your vehicle if your vehicle has the same size stud if it don't you'll need different lug nuts and your factory lug nuts may not work because when the lug nut goes down in there your stud from your vehicle and your lug nut cannot come past the face of that adapter everything has to be below right there can't hit anything your wheel has to go all the way back to this face here it's something to consider you know when you go to getting lug nuts because if you don't say you wanted chrome lug nuts for your wheels and these lug nuts don't fit your car then you gotta buy two sets of lug nuts just want you to know what you're getting into and we have adapters that have options on studs you know, U.S. made stuff, I can get you whatever stud you want in your adapter. Uh, well, almost any. But the, the, the major sizes of studs I can get. Um, so that covers your studs and lug nuts may or may not match your car. Something you need to take into consideration there. Make sure everything's going to work out there. Your bore size being large enough. Your type of lug nuts the thickness of the adapter you need to consider this one is an inch and a quarter another popular uh, uh, another popular size is a one inch thickness um, but you need to make sure that when you add the thickness of the adapter you still have enough room for your wheels now if you're changing your wheels changing your bolt pattern and all the wheel you're putting on there may have a different offset than your factory wheel so it can affect how far out the wheel will sit if it will be out too far or not we are available to answer your questions we'll call us at 423-704-0407 we will do our best to get you the right adapters the first time that is our goal so please contact us by email or call us and let us help you get the right ones.